In this video, we're going to show you how to set up an error workflow um, for your NADN workflow. And what this will allow you to do is get notifications um, when something goes wrong with your flow. Um, so let's imagine that we finished this workflow. It's activated, we tested it, and we basically just want to get an alert now if something goes wrong because it should be working automatically. Um, in that case, what we'll do is we'll first create an error workflow. And so that'll be the workflow that fires when there's a problem with this one. So we'll create a new workflow. We'll call it my error flow. And the first thing we'll do is we'll add an error trigger to the canvas. And the error trigger, what this does is when another workflow calls this workflow um, because there was an error, the, this workflow will know that we should start on this trigger and not, not some other trigger here. Um, so in the error trigger, when I execute it manually, what we get is we get an example of the type of data it would output um, so that we can reference this data to, for example, send a Slack message or something like that. Um, so while this is sort of data from this flow, um, this would get replaced when it's, when it's activated um, by the data from, from the actual workflow that failed here. Um, so in a very simple case, we could do something like send a Slack message. So we'll add the Slack node. Um, in this case, I have an OAuth2 credential. I'll hook that up. We want to post a message to a channel. Let's say we have a support channel. And then for the text itself, you know, we could just write that a workflow failed, right? Now, this won't be particularly helpful. You won't know which workflow failed. So this could be fine if you have a simple instance and just anytime there's a problem, you want to just know that there was some sort of a problem. But we can um, add an expression and instead send some of the dynamic data from the error trigger. So we could say that a workflow failed. And then we could, if we drill down to here and the data that's accessible, there's data on the execution various data and on the workflow itself. So we could say um, you know, workflow name and we could paste in the workflow name here. We'll see the snippet of uh, that, that gets pasted in here and we see the res rendered result down here. We could also perhaps have a URL of the execution so you could open this up directly, take a look what the problem is um, and then perhaps the error message itself could be useful as well. Um, this could be useful because maybe sometimes workflows fail due to some sort of rate limiting issue. Maybe it's not a mission critical workflow. So you see that it's that type of error and you maybe give it a sec to see if it resolves itself. Either way, we have our dynamic message here now. So when we send this to Slack, we can see um, that we just posted this and there's the data. Um, so from here, Really, the complexity of your error workflow just depends on what you want to do with it. It could be a simple flow like this. And we see a lot of users who have a simple fallback flow that they'll set by default for most of their workflows. And then when they have something mission critical, they might have a specific error flow just for that workflow. For a series of workflows, you could do things like checking if it's the weekend and um, uh, doing something different if it is to support an SLA or really any kind of complexity that you can implement in NADN, you can do in an error workflow. Um, so we'll save this error workflow. It's called my error flow. I'll then open up the other flow we had in the beginning of this video. And to make sure that whenever this one fails, it's activated, that it trigger the error flow, all we have to do is go into the settings of this workflow here. And then for the error flow, I had one previously set. I can search and I can find this new one that we created, my error flow, save this. And now every time this workflow fails when it runs in production, it will trigger that error flow and we'll get a Slack message.